Today in my 2K17 tutorials, I am going to show you guys our first freelance money play of the year. That's right, this money play is so deadly, it has over 6 branches, so it kind of behaves like a freelance and you will treat it as such. And this kind of offense, the freelance money play, is the deadliest in 2K17. And this one also comes with one of the best user created options I've ever seen in my life from a branch and set standpoint. It is guaranteed to get you dunks and look out, it is also gonna get you plenty and plenty of alley oops all day long. DeAndre Jordan. Ugh. So make sure you subscribe for over 100 2K17 tutorial this year. I guarantee I will help you have fun and most importantly you're gonna win legit and you're gonna win like a boss. Yes, this play also has free pointers. Yep, for your ideal shooters too. This is crazy. Freelance money play number one, 2K17, let's go. So the play itself is a low post play and it is called Punch Horns Fist 45. It is in the Raptors playbook, but you will treat this and attack it as a freelance. So let's focus on branch number one. It is a simple ball screen that is coming out of Horns formation. So whoever you call this low post play for is the guy that's going to set you this ball screen. So this is the simple branch, but it gets way better later. But you gotta get this down because if you can hit this, you get a straight drive and nice and easy. Early offense is the best kind of offense, so if you can get something out of this screen, just take it. Don't make things too complicated. If this screen works well, you also get a drive and kick. So if they give you the drive, either take it to the hole or drive it and kick it to the opposite corner. Don't complicate things. And also this guy that sets the screen, he also sometimes slowly or quickly dives into the paint. If you see that, read and react, finish it up. He's gonna get good position, easy finish. Now let's take a look at the deadliest branch of this freelance money play. It is a manual option, and this is pretty much the uh, 2K17 version of the Double Tiger. So to a lot of my original subscribers, you will remember this well from 2K16. Well, this 2K17 version, even deadlier. So what you wanna do is you wanna call the play here. I'm calling for Blake Griffin. As Blake comes up to set the pick out of the play, I'm actually gonna call a scream for DeAndre Jordan instead manually. So this breaks me out of the play, but it doesn't matter because it flows through. Yep, plenty of oops. So let's watch that again. So the key is to call the play and let Blake come up. And once Blake comes up, call a manual icon pick and roll with DeAndre. Watch me also escape Hesse towards Big, go back to DeAndre, that's not even fair. It was extra pass for good measure. So the idea of this manual branch, or the double tiger branch, is that you want to put, you see that defender, Derek Favors, you're going to put him in a terrible situation. See, we're starting to play initially, so Favors is thinking, okay, pick and roll with Blake, but we're not going to do that because once we see Blake set the pick, we're going to call a uh, manual screen from DeAndre, and as he comes up, we're going to go back to DeAndre's side, look at Derek Favors get lost, he has no chance, he's not even in the play, this is over, we're going to lob it up, bang, all over Rudy Gobert's head. This manual alteration of the Punch Horns Fist 45, the Money Play Freelance, is crazy. The timing is going to take some practice because you're literally, ooh, hezzying into Blake Griffin's pick as a fake. You're faking the Blake Griffin play pick and opening your own manual screen from DeAndre who's standing there anyway so this is very efficient from a spacing point of view watch he's standing there anyways so using time to come up this really breaks apart the offense and that's a post to post lob post to post lob I think I can double lob this if I really want to but uh, let's not get too fancy I prefer to score instead of turnovers but watch this again we're gonna fake use the Derek favorite screen Use the Gober one for Rio that we call up manually. Rotate the ball. Gordon Hayward. Swish bomb. God, I love this manual option out of this play. And, and it's got more. You can. I'm going to show you how to use the branches later too. But make sure you get this manual option down. Fake that fake with and fake. Use that manual DeAndre one for Rio. It's going to take some quick fingers, but if you get this down, like a user is going to be so confused. He doesn't know where the screens are coming from. You can use Blake. You can use DeAndre. You're going to use Blake. You're not going to use DeAndre. I would throw up honestly. So branch number two, so we're going to stick with the play now. This is not a manual option. I call this the corner release and this is also a very OP action. 
is a very good counter to the manual double tiger option you were doing earlier. So watch. You gotta pay for break. You can use the break screen, but you can kick it to the corner right there. And ZZ Blake snuck down, and if they try to front the post, that's an easy pass straight to the basket. Watch it here again, we call the play for Blake. We're gonna use the Blake screen for Rio, nothing, no manual option. Go to Redick in the corner, and they front the post. We're gonna use the icon pass, nice and patient. Bang! So remember, this works in accordance with the manual option branch. So if you were doing the manual option double tiger for a while, and you just do this for Rio, this really throws people off, user or computer. And if they don't get the front, this is actually turns into a really simple low post entry pass deep into the paint with very nice spacing, hook shot, finishing it up. Remember, you are calling it for a big man, so you can post him up. So the more versatile the big man, the better it is for this freelance money play. But if the defense tends to fall asleep, you can actually sometimes get a duck in because Blake is trying to get to the low post anyways. If the duck in works, don't hesitate. Quick pass, quick finish. Mm. And if the defense really falls asleep, which happens because this pick and roll is very threatening and forced the hedge defender, lob it up! Ooh, corner to the middle, that is a crazy, look at those passes from everywhere, bam, bam, yee! And here we're calling it the play for Derek Favors, who is perfectly suitable for this. We're gonna use the screen, go to the corner, play falls asleep, quick reactions, quick reads, reward yourself, easy, easy dunks, multiple passes, beautiful stuff. And if they tend to double, which they would, because your power forward is going to score a lot out of this freelance money play, the punch one is fist 45, get it to the low block, they get a freak out, W, the guy usually in the corner is a shooting guard, that means it's a shooter, yep, this is how we also get freeze out of this play, absolutely crazy. So here we're going to take a look at branch number 3, uh, the handler passing into the big and the elbow. So branches 3 to 5s are weaker than also obviously the manual option and the corner release branch, but these are still very effective and I suggest you do use these over time to keep the defense honest and also to you know burn clock and to protect the lead. So we're going to use the favorite screen, we're not going to the corner, we're just going to use the row. The guy who sets the screen sometimes also does dive in, so you can just keep the ball in the handler's hands and hit the roadmap. Same thing again, we're gonna use the Blake screen, no manual double tiger option, we're gonna keep the ball in the handler's hand, Blake is gonna walk his way to the elbow, and if he gets to the elbow, watch the previous tutorial, you know what's up by now, Sam Fam elbow spin. Yep. Filthy. Filthy. Let's take a look at branch number 4, which is a center high-low. I don't suggest you go to this branch too often, it does take a lot of time to develop, but you can get here. And actually, if you're running a smaller lineup, you get a stretch 4 thing going on, then this is very useful. But here I have Gober hollowing in the favors. Not the ideal situation, but it could still get him some space, but normally DeAndre would come down. So this wouldn't really work, but if you got a stretch 4 during this. So let's say if you're using the Warriors and you got KD at the 4, and you want to feed it down to Sasa, so you can call the play for Sasa. So this this would be the this would be Draymond Green feeding down to Sasa high low. That would be much better. But this DeAndre Blake version one still works because Blake got so deep. So this high low is very useful. But I suggest go do it maybe not too much when you're running two bigs. But if you're running a small ball, definitely go do it. Pass it with the shooter up top. You're gonna get so much space. Their favorites here got lucky. He got some space. Easy finish, nice and strong. Mm, favors looks great this year. And branch number five, opposite wing entry. This one is gonna take the most freaking time. But if you can get here, you normally would get some pretty good action because the defense will be very tired and you know, pretty broken down by then if you get to this branch. So watch, we're gonna use the screen, no manual option, no corner option, no handle to post. We don't even do the high low. We swing it to the wing, wing back to the post, and we tell the middle guy to dive in by holding triangle to flush him. Yep, that's a lot of stuff, but it does work. But either way, if you enjoyed this first freelance money play of the year, make sure you add a like and subscribe. Now I'm just going to give you a tutorial summary, and this is one of the favorite things I ever do in 2K, is to find money plays that are so strong, it's a freelance of its own. Like this is literally a super awesome Horns freelance. In a way, this is kind of better than the Horns freelance I showed you, right? So these are gold in 2K. You can literally put your team in the 4-1 pace or whatever freelance. And then if you have this Raptors playbook and you got this play in there, Punch Horn Fist 45, you have a super easy quick hack access to Horns action, or Horns freelance action. 
but it's a play. So you can have a separate freelance with this play. So it's like having two freelance at your, at your disposal 27 whenever you want. That's elite offense, that's Sam Fam style basketball. As always, family, thanks for coming by. I will see all of you next time. Oh, new playbook coming soon. Yep, see ya.